Hey, morning. It's Wednesday. The old screamer's running. I don't really need a lot of heat now. It's it's actually warming up really nicely outside today. Sun's out. Uh, as always, got ahead of myself. Started fiddling with this and fiddling with that, and I was thinking, hey. I got enough cameras, I can set up one time lapse and then I can maybe narrate it after as I'm going. And uh, yeah, it's just, they're all sitting there in the dust, eating dust. So I don't know, got ahead of myself, just went and started picking away and decided to attack. So that scraps welded in. The cab corner internal part is 13% closed up and so next I'm going to be tacking not well fitting the cab corner again and then I'll build up the piece between here a little warm still between here and the and the skin on the cab corner I might even think of way about putting a weather seal in and then when I pound the uh, Spray foam. No, not spray foam. Come on, Frank. Um, undercoating in there, inside and out, that it'll, it'll be like a stop. I don't know. I still haven't watched Chad's video about the hockey tape and un undercoating anyway, so I don't know where that goes. Uh, then, the next step is to this piece. I'm going to cut this off just behind this shadow, just behind this rib, or in front, whatever, and across here. Follow with the camera, please. And then out here, and then I will bead roll in the three beads. I'll lay a panel on top, and I'll weld it across to that, seam seal it, and I'm done. And the reinforcing underneath here, I'm going to stretch it out so it grabs the edge and it's three quarters of an inch so I got two bars here I'll step over one I'll overlap and I'll keep going that's the plan anyway and then I guess I'll probably drag the door out and attack it I shall think about it anyway after I get the cab corner off because we're getting there I'm real happy with that. Like I could call it a day just after accomplishing that. I'm real happy with it, but. I'd laid this out earlier. I don't know if you can, well, actually it's not bad. It is a little crooked, but this is the practice side. It won't bother me. So that's where I'm at. Uh, what else is new and exciting? Not much. I'll be in touch. I keep forgetting about you guys. Leave you in the background and, you know, things are happening. So, I've got my step re first step reinforcing bar going in. My second one will go in all the way across, of course. And it'll be carved into there and then tacked into the back. The back piece I've got to rework a little bit because it's kind of, well, it's not taking welds very well. So I'm going to start here, rebuild this piece, kind of get maybe just a corner. I can make it a weld on this corner, I think. It might turn out okay. I might put a piece of 1 8 there and just tag it in, get rid of that stupid bump. And then I can weld that, the plates in there nice and solid and then just keep building backwards uh yeah so this is cleaned up uh this will get seam sealed it's ground smooth uh smooth ish i gotta get in there and grind a little more wow what is oh i had the grinding wheel in there and then now the next plate the the step is gonna just be laid on top of here this is all nice and solid yet like you can see focus
There we go. You can see how nice and thick that is. So that'll take a weld up until about, where am I? Up until about there. So then I'll, I'll rebuild this piece here. That'll be easy. And uh, I'll cap my square tube after. Maybe I'll get a piece of 1 8 and I'll just weld it across right now. No, I'll cap it. Maybe I'll just weld an angle piece on. Hey, that'll work too. Eh? Oh, I don't want to go get my chop saw. That thing is nasty. So yeah, some seam sealer, a little tuning on some welds yet. I ground this fairly clean. She's primer ready, man. So uh, yeah, uh, maybe another hour or two to go yet, and then I'll probably call it the day. But that's uh, pretty good so far. I'm quite content with where I'm getting today. So back at her. What a mess. Guess I'll have to clean it up again. I, apparently I've got music playing again and I'm just gonna have to hit pause. Oh yeah, there you go. And shut her down. Okay. Um, yeah, I had a couple of visitors, so I had some delay. So I'm at this point, I'm started at the front here. Of course, it's peg welded in. Uh, first tube is welded in. I'll get the second one welded and then cap that last piece here so it doesn't fill with crud. So I'm welding that. Next piece I'm going to make, you can see I've got it drawn out. I'm going to go across here, down here, across here. I'm going to scab this all in and then I'll probably cut this out after and scab it in after I drill a hole. But I got to do that after I put the tube in because it's half a tube. So I've got to figure out how to get through that without... I don't know if I can even drill through that. I got to have a nut on the bottom to hold. Uh, that's the bottom flag of that hinge. And then I'll get onto this, get this fixed, cut this out here. Then take some of the crusties off from underneath here. It's just a little lip that, oh yeah, look at that. It's just a little lip that was left. I'll get this crunchies out of here. And then uh, I'll fill that in. And then I'm almost ready. I got that kind of cleaned up, not bad. So I'm kind of happy with that. So uh, I did my cool down time to make sure there's, well, there really isn't anything. I keep, I'm trying to keep clean. It's cleaner than it was before. And uh, yeah, so leave it at that for now. And uh, I guess as usual, I will thank you both for watching. Uh, I will mention too, it was a glorious day outside. Driveway is still icy, but it is thawing. So that's that. Anyway. Thank you both for watching. Check in tomorrow and see what's happening then.